Let's do this. Let's do this, let's do this. It's so hard to feel like you look good when you had no sleep and your face is like a moon. Literally a moon. Hi, welcome to my new blog and YouTube channel called Gut Instinct, which is basically completely about Crohn's disease um, and just about everything to do with Crohn's. Crohn's crew, is that cringe? A little bit, a little bit cringe. Um, and it's just basically me chatting shit about shit. Okay, so I wanted to make this first video just as an introduction. Also, just to kind of cover what is Crohn's disease. Oh, babe, what's wrong with you? Like, what is Crohn's? I don't really get it. I don't even really get it either, but I'm going to do the best I can to kind of break it down in the simplest possible way. Crohn's disease is an inflammatory bowel disease. I know, glamorous. Sign me up for the bowel disease, please. Oh, bowel disease, that sounds fun. Yeah, give me one of those. I'd love that. So it's basically a disease of the bowel. It's a chronic illness, so it means that it's incurable, so you can have it for the rest of your life. Yes! Really done a good job. For me, it affects the end of my small intestine, which is called my ileum, and then the top of my large intestine, which is basically your colon. So those two areas for me are affected. And basically what's wrong with them is at some point in my life, they decided, no, nope, I have had enough of this. I'm just gonna throw my toys out the pram. I'm done digesting your food. I'm gonna become inflamed and red and bleeding and ulcered. There's nothing you can do about it. So as a result of that, I'm currently on eight anti-inflammatory tablets a day, eight steroids a day. I take vitamin tablets, omega-3, bone thinning things, ridiculous amount of medication, and I'm just about to start on immunosuppressive therapy as well, which is not very fun. What people ask me a lot is how did I know that I had it? And that story is so unglamorous, so if at any point you're squeamish, I would turn off now, because this is not nice. So I've had it for just over a year. And basically the way I found out is because I was basically pooing out blood constantly non-stop diarrhea as in I would need to go to the toilet about 20 times a day couldn't eat or drink anything without having it come straight back through me I was throwing up food I lost a lot of weight and then yeah it was the losing the blood I had really painful joints so I had like arthritis I was tired all the time and then when I went to my doctor originally they said oh you know you might have IBS I did not have IBS I know what IBS is people get it confused because it's all about like digestion and the gut and all this kind of stuff but no do you have IBS, babe? Like, because I think I have IBS. Like, you know, I, should, I was just cut gluten. No. <sighs> Chill out on the IBS. So I got diagnosed. Took such a long process because they basically, it's very hard to recognise. Could be a million other things. Could be, like, intolerant to a million things. But because of this sheer amount of blood I was losing and my family medical background, I got sent through for a bowel cancer screening, which is not fun when you're 23 years old to be screened for bowel cancer. But luckily, that is how I then got diagnosed with Crohn's disease. I had a colonoscopy, which is a camera going up, yeah, up, all the way around through your whole digestive tract. And that's when they saw how damaged this part of my body was and that it was like ulcered and bleeding and just like really, really not in a good way. So immediately I started taking anti-inflammatory. I was put on a liquid diet for a little while, so just milkshakes. Boy, I love a burger, so that killed me for a long time. Then I've been put on steroids three three courses of steroids in the last year, which explain the moon face and the fact that I have these horrendous bags under my eyes because I cannot sleep, which is not the greatest time to put your face on the internet, you know, pale, bloated, no sleep. Um, and I've been living with it for a year now, uh, just over a year, and it's horrible. It's really horrible because I can't figure out what makes it tick. Honey, I could have a chicken nugget and be absolutely fine and then have a salad leaf and literally be on the toilet for the rest of the day. There is no rhyme or reason to what seems to make it flare up or what seems to make it good or bad or ugly. I have no idea. Flare ups and remission. So a flare up is when your body is literally hell on earth. You can't do anything. You'll be anemic, you won't be able to digest your food, you'll probably have diarrhea, you'll probably be vomiting, you'll be in a lot of pain or you'll be in remission, which is like a holiday for your body. Do you know what, Crohn's? I'm gonna take a little break, you know? I'm just gonna have some time out. You take a back seat for a little while. Anyway, this is a really, really brief crash course on it. Really good website called Crohn's and Colitis UK. They're a charity um, and there's so much good information on there. It's helped me a lot just to try and understand and get my head around what the hell is going on in my stomach, because it's really hard. Crohn's as well is super isolating. It's a very lonely disease. Not many people want to talk about it. Not many people, weirdly enough, want to talk about your bowel habits. Like it's just unglamorous, which is why I wanted to do it because I don't think it should be so prudish. The poo to boo. For a lot of people, this is a daily struggle and it's something that people deal with every single day. So why should you be ashamed to talk about it? Like, and it just makes your life so much easier to be able to say, do you know what? I'm gonna have to go home from work because I'm literally Desperate for the toilet. The amount of times I've had to leave work to go to Starbucks. I'm so sorry, Starbucks. Why can I not go in my work toilet? I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. 
Like, it really affects people's lives, you know, learning what you can and can't eat, the amount of medication you have to take is very draining and a lot of them have not great side effects. Talking about something just makes it a bit more acceptable, makes it a bit more uh, approachable and also relatable to people. So I hope that if you're watching this, maybe you have Crohn's and this has somehow been helpful to know that I have it too. Or if you know someone with Crohn's that you've seen this and thought, oh god, yeah, that actually sounds really shit. Maybe I shouldn't just ask them, they've got a sore tummy. Or, oh god, they've got an upset stomach. Yeah, like when I on holiday last year, I had a really bad steak, so I, t I totally know where you're coming from. I, are you serious? The most annoying other thing about Crohn's disease, which you'll get, is people will just not understand. Like the fact that you haven't slept, the fact that you're knackered, the fact that you're bones are so sore and you feel like you literally cannot move, the fact that you can stand up and literally feel like you're going to throw up. They will not understand the fact that you're getting no nutrients from anything you're eating because your stomach just passes them right on through like, nope. It's tough. Check out my blog. I'm going to try and do more videos. Um, if you've got any questions or comments or you just want to have a chat, then please get in touch because I would really love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.